Okay, guys. As you can see, if I can get him to move real quick, that's Big Black. That's my uh, my big boss on the tank. He's a Percy Eye, and he's definitely a camera hog. But let's see if we can work around him. Oh nope. There you go. As you can see, I've got hair algae. And it's not just on that rock. It comes all the way on this driftwood. Got it on here. Got it on some of these plants. On the intake from my filter. As well as this plant. But if you notice on these rocks. Right here. It's kind of started to turn gray. And it I pretty much say it's balding like an old man, kind of losing little patches here and there. If you notice, this one's doing the same thing. And also over here, you can see where it's starting to discolor. And the leaves and everything are starting to discolor right there with that little bit of hair algae. As well as this piece right here, you can really tell on it. What I found out through some research, for those of you who want to know, is your general generic brand dollar per bottle hydrogen peroxide does wonders if you have issues with it. So, for those of you interested in having hair algae problems yourself, it's really simple. All you need is just a pitcher in a bucket. All you do is you place whatever you're dipping into said bucket, pour your hydrogen peroxide in the bucket, pour back and forth, back and forth, and just coat it really, really well. These right here were done two days ago. This was done four days ago. These were about five six days ago so as you can see it does wonders and I highly recommend it do recommend also that you kind of wash off the plant after you put it or after you rinse it I didn't do it on my 55 but after reading some more I do recommend that you do it alright hope this helps some of them out there any questions feel free to leave comments